Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom over here at Renegade Racing. So today I'm gonna walk you through on actually springing a roll-up door. So this would be like garage doors, overhead truck doors and stuff of that nature. So today we had both cables off this door and the elevator was actually loose. So this is the elevator right here. You can see as of right now, we don't have any of these bolts tightened, all right? So those are the lock nuts. We don't have those tightened, so this thing can kind of spin freely. All right, so we got that loose. What we went ahead and did is we went ahead and rolled both sides. So what I do is I roll one side without taking the drum off. So what I mean by taking the drum off, I mean releasing the bolts, all right? So I leave uh, the drum tightened on one and then I release the drum on the other. So that way you can do one at a time. So what you do is whenever you release it, you wanna roll down, all right? So that the, the cable is down like this, all right? On both sides. So you want both sides to kind of match, just like we got right here. We got them a little bit loose because this spring rate is gonna take up a bunch of tension. All right, so now that we got both of those rolled, another thing I wanna point out real quick too is you wanna lock both sides of the door, all right, with a pair of vice grips. Make sure that the door is all the way up and all the way back so that way it don't move on you. All right, always roll a door with it up. If you try and roll it down, it's gonna suck, all right? So you got, with them down, you gotta like turn the actual elevator like 13, 14 times, it's ridiculous. There's so much tension on that thing, it could pop back and break your arm or something. So you don't wanna do that. All right, so make sure, even if you have to get some guys to help you, lift the door up, pull it all the way back, lock it on both sides in the track with a pair of vice grips. As you see right now, I also got a pair of vice grips right here on the bar, all right? Reason for that is, is so that I can keep this bar steel and not moving and keep my cables taut, all right? Once we get the actual elevator tightened up, all right, then we're gonna release that pair of vice grips and it'll put all the tension on this elevator. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is, is I got two pair, two pieces of screwdrivers and what I'm gonna do is, is like I said, we roll down, so you wanna roll up on this, all right? And then once we get it all the way up, the tension will lock it in place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this thing four times, all right? That's what I do for doors. Four times is more than enough Sometimes that could be too much and you might actually want to let a little bit off of it. You're only going to roll it four times. I count four times off one of these nuts. All right, so now that I got it right here, I'm going to go around one, two, three, and then four. All right, one big key note to this, and this is the hard part. I like to spray a little bit of WD-40 on this bar. As you see right here on this one, you see how there's no rust right here? That's because the spring has to be moved forward, all right? So once we load this thing with them four rolls, we have to push it as far to the left as we can get it. That way the spring doesn't bind up when the door's coming down, all right? Because if you don't have it pulled, it pulled far enough apart, it will bind up and the door won't go down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And once I get that done, I'll continue the video. All right, guys, we're back with the video. So. Here's what I did. I went ahead and spring this thing. As you can see, it's kind of dingle dangle now. That's that's because I pulled it all the way over. You see, there's no rust showing now. I actually pulled it a little bit further than it was. I, when I, when I, once I got it loaded on the four turns, I stuck my screwdriver in here and just let it hold it so I could tighten both jam nuts. You can wiggle your screwdriver out. All right, if I can get that thing out. All right, now that we got it out, first thing we want to do is release our uh, pair of vice grips on the actual bar itself. And you'll see it actually put some tension on both of these when I did that, all right? Now that we got that done, we'll release one side at a time. It'll put a little bit more tension on both sides. And you wanna kinda hold your strap on your door because once we let this go, it's gonna come forward and you don't want the cables actually jumping off. All right, so that actually pulled the door forward and now it's loaded. So what you wanna do now is you just wanna check and see if your tension's right, if the door rises and lowers by itself, you know, um, assistedly of course, but just make sure everything's right. We got it going down. Check your cable tension on both sides. Make sure everything's good. 
everything looks good. Then you just want to check, make sure it goes up and down. I can do it literally with one hand. So we are good to go. And that's how you roll a door.